<gasps> I found it. I found it. Hello again. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Thank you. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's not that bad. Thanks to people like the sad saint of the East End. Who? Sean Hampton, our own private holy figure. Few are foolish enough to make peace with the gangs. Sean is one of them. How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. I see. So you get pressure from all sides about how this place should be run, do you? Well, something like that. Nothing that a few wise words and a bottle of gin can't solve. You're something of a figurehead around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Well, perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. Uh, with the epidemic, my supplies are running low. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps, with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back? Doctors aren't immune to disease, you know. Very well. Show me where it is, and I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. Thank you. I swear I probably walked right past it before. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Even maybe we talk to me a little bit more this time. That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Don't mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the Turquoise Turtle, then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? What can you tell me about this area? People don't appreciate that line of questioning round here. You best be more careful with what you I say. I sir. just ask concern, Miss Cavendish. This is a bad borough. Most people I know are afraid. Most locals will rob you blind, or worse. You best mind your step. I'll be careful. I have nothing to fear from the people round here, miss. Yeah, I'm a brave woman myself, Dr. Reed, but I'd be a fool to think I'm invincible. This place seems, how shall I put it, very colourful. I'm sure it has plenty of stories to tell. We get people of all sorts here. It's that rare place in the docks where you can have a drink without being murdered. <laughs> At least it's not happened yet. Well, kinda. So this bar is neutral territory then? Yeah. Tom's convinced this is something the locals need. No one ever draws a weapon here. That's one of the reasons I accepted the job. Place of safety? Your boss must be quite the negotiator to force such an agreement. Yeah. Tom's a great bloke. Mr. Hampton, who runs the night asylum, he's the only other man that's able to keep peace around here. Lovely people, those two then. Excuse my curiosity, but where exactly are you from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? I'm not bothered by anything, I'm just curious. Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the colour of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburne, and of course Mr. Hampton. I'm sorry if I worried you. I was just curious to find out if you know this part of town well. Knows he? My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London, and here I am. Lovely little romance story. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. I thought I should shut the turquoise for a time. No, 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 no. I'll be getting your gin. Don't you worry, friend. Um, where was that other guy? Also, yeah, no, they're 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 fine. Tom and Sabrina. 
Yeah, but I can find Seymour and Rufus again. And Dyson. I can give him a bit of a cure. I'm just plundering. You, you know how it is. Don't mind me. Just literally opening your safe and finding a glass vial and aluminum powder. It's weird when ingredients in a lot or like stuff in game is limited. Well, well, looky here. Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you. It's time. I might Inebriation give you a little bit of help with that. Do you need medical help? Yes. I feel sicker than usual these days. Take this, then. And perhaps you could try to slow down the alcohol intake, too. Hey, Doc, you don't really want me to stop the only remedy I can afford. Surely you must have had dreams and expectations when you were young, like everybody else. Sure. I wanted things to change. To really change, and to change for good. The bigger the dream, the harder the fall. Sounds like you were an idealist, which is honorable. No, sir. I was an anarchist and I believed that exclusive property is a robbery in nature. I wanted a new world to rise from the ashes, Dr. Reed. Okay. Do you really think the world is that bad? No, I believe we all can choose to make it better. But most of us are too weak, too corrupt and too guilty. I failed for sure, but others will come. I don't know, man. I'm not sure. About a hundred years have passed since this game. Still not very anarchist society. I want to know more about your past as an anarchist, Dyson. I'm still an anarchist, Doctor. Make no mistake. I just reject violence as a tool to change the world, unlike my comrades. Do you still see your comrades, then? Even if you don't agree with their methods anymore, I mean. No. I hope they'll come to share my point of view one day. I'll raise my glass to that splendid idea. Do you believe in a bloodless revolution, then? I do not believe in much anymore, Doctor. But I'll admit I like your idea of peaceful change. I like it a lot. What do you do for a living, Mr. Delaney? I drink. I drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. And then I drink some more. Okay. Don't you work at all? I'd love to, but I don't have the time. Didn't I tell you? Drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. Yeah. But how? Why do you drink so much? Maybe it's because I prefer dying slowly. Death can be so abrupt. Personally, I like to see mine coming at my own pace. You sound very sad, sir. That's because I am, Doc. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love this neighborhood. So friendly. So joyful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why are you so cynical? Cynicism is the polite way to express despair, Doctor. No reason at all to rejoice, then. Life is hopeless and then we die, is that it? Let me tell you a story. Uh, okay. All right. Go on. A few years ago, when I believed a resolute man could change things around here for good, a tragedy occurred nearby. What kind of tragedy? It was a bomb. A bomb that exploded him. Killed many people. Metal and blood everywhere. Shouts. Fire. Broken window of the shoe shop. The torn street light. You lost people you loved that day, didn't you? I've lost everything. But you know what the worst part is? I don't even remember where it happened. I've drunk so much to forget it. And now I can't remember where it was. I can't pay my homage to the dead. I'm sorry, 
Mr. Delaney. It's okay. If you ever find the place, just leave a flower for me there. Even if you tell me where it is, I'm not sure I'd memorize it. Is there a... Ad Let me... Um... Goodbye, Mr. New investigation? Right, well that was pretty good. Basically it is just the docks, it's not so much this part. Although that's other things. We have a lot of investigations now, I mean we can't track everything obviously. But I would want to find Fishburn and uh, Kingsbury again if I can. Oh, that's a start. This is Cox. Um, which way did I take when I found Fishburn the first time? Probably not this way, but maybe. No, yeah, yeah. Here we go. These are some people I know. Hello, sir. To every night, a darkness. Literally, the two of them. Right, hello, Rufus. Evening, Rufus. Evening, Miss. Do you need help? A real doctor caring about me. That's a first. I feel like a real person. There you go. A real doctor treats everyone the same, Rufus. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So Achievement long, unlocked. Rufus. Hippocratic Oath. Be careful. Take care. Do I have your medicine? Good evening, Mr. Fitz. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you require medical assistance? <laughs> That's something I didn't expect to hear again. A doctor concerned with the health of his patients. Yeah. I could use some help. On several matters, in fact. I don't know which kind of doctor you're used to dealing with. But it's a doctor's purpose to heal people. And is it your purpose as well, Mr. Reed? I would say it's a convenient way for gaining people's trust. I mean, you took it, so, Goodbye, you know. Right, uh, that's good. That means three people healed in the docks. I don't have treatment for headache yet, sadly. And nor am I agreeing. I do have anemia, because I just did that. So if I can find Palmer back in Whitechapel again and cure him. That'll be something. But that means we need to go back to Whitechapel, so let's just... I guess, let's go! <laughs> Bit of a long run. Oh, we've got two marks now. I don't want that one removed. Look at that train. There's no fast travel, is there? No. Wrong way. I really enjoy this part of the music and feel in this part of town of exploring. If this is the docks theme or whatever, then, then I like it. Oh, maybe I should do so while I'm here, actually do uh, the docks investigations. Coming to them. If we're lucky, we all will. Investigations are good. Good money, good experience, good items. So it's literally where we just were. We went here all the time before. And now we're coming back. Well, we needed the key, right? There we go. Nice, more handle parts. And this is where the stuff is. Newspaper article. 
Oh shit. Tom Watts arrested by the police for attempted murder. Huh. Okay, interesting. Did was this not the gin bottles? I guess not. Tom has so much alcohol, he could keep this district afloat for quite some time. Cool. Bring back the gin bottles or lie to Tom and keep the gin bottles. Why would I lie to him? What, what benefit is it for me to keep all this gin? I feel like that's a... It's worth doing, honestly. That feels just kind of feels weird. Can I blink over here? No, but I can run around. Unless this is closed, which it is. I cannot enter. I cannot enter. I'm in the wrong wrong way again. <laughs> Should just gone back the way I came rather than trying to find out another way. And I also found a thing to tell him about a note. I don't... What would be the benefit of me keeping the gin? Just money, I guess? Doesn't feel worth it. Am I checking the... No, there we go. It is the right place. It was just a bit... Around the side. You know, eventually I'll learn to find my way around. Hello, Dyson. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do for you? You lied to me, Tom. Your warehouse wasn't empty. It was inhabited with armed vigilantes. I'm sorry, Dr. Reed, but I thought those pre one guards would be willing to let someone like you pass without trouble. That was <laughs> devious of you, Tom. Next time you can bloody well go yourself. I apologize, Doctor. But it, it's just that I prefer to avoid the law, its enforcers, and all manner of thugs in uniform. Like the Pruin. Here is your booze. I hope it will appease your customers. Just try not to kill anyone with this poison of yours. <laughs> Believe me, Doctor, most of my customers are less agreeable when sober. Well, now. Tell me about your arrest for attempted murder, Tom. I tried to kill someone. I got arrested. I paid my debt, and I have nothing to hide. So you mean your customers know about your sordid past? Yeah, why do you think this is the last pub open? I have nothing to hide, and I don't judge. That's a relief for many round here. Do you think prison changed you? Made you a better man? Oh, I don't know about that. All I brought back is bad memories, scars, <laughs> and an ugly tattoo of a blue turtle. But do you feel cleansed of your sins? All I know is that I'm at peace. I did what I did, but I wouldn't do it again. Does that make me a better man? I don't know. You attempted murder. Give me some details. I was given an order. An order to kill. I was an obedient gang member at the time. A proud wet boot boy. Hmm. It's a lot of wet boot boys. Why did you join the gang? Because I finally felt useful. Do you have any idea what it means to feel respected when the rest of the world shits on you? So you were ordered to kill someone. What happened then? I don't know if you can possibly understand, but... I couldn't kill him. 
I just stood there pointing my gun. Someone saw me. I gave up. Why couldn't you shoot? My target was eating in that fancy restaurant with mirrors and music. He was eating, drinking, laughing. He was having such a good time. I hated him for his bottomless appetite, an easy life of easy pickings. And then something happened. You refused to kill him because you wanted to feel some of that happiness yourself. You empathized with him. Exactly. The man was a bloody landlord who rented overpriced flats. A selfish bastard. But he made me smile. And I was no different from him. Why not leave town and start a new life after you got out of jail? I grew up in the East End. This is where my roots are. This is where I want to help others, and die, eventually. Do you think the docks will always be a hive of scum and villainy? <laughs> as long as poverty and fear run the show, I don't see how it would change. It's better than most Eisley. loves company, as they say. Don't you feel threatened, staying in such a violent and criminal neighborhood? I've made peace with my violent past, Dr. Reed. I may not be a pacifist, but I'm not angry anymore. So, <sighs> why does your waitress feel in danger working on the docks? This part of town is dangerous for all, but for women it's worse, as always. Sabrina is a brave girl, but she can't help feeling in danger. Do you think she has good reason to feel this way? Are you not worried about her safety? Of course I am. The truth is, she's tougher than me deep inside. She just has to learn to control it. The problem Goodbye I have, quote-unquote problem, is that a lot of the times finding all this out about people doesn't really lead to anything. It just... I find out about their story and then it's like, okay, your story has been find out, you know, and then I guess I can go eat them because of the blood quality, but like if I don't want to eat them, it's like I just do it to talk, you know? Speaking of, we also need to find more stuff. Grave diggers. Oh yeah, the bombing. The necklace. Oh, let's try for the necklace. How far away is that? It's oh, it is right here somewhere. Now, where the hell though? That might be. A tricky thing to find without any indication. Let's try for something else. Over there. Oh, in Southwark. Okay. That's over there where the ghoul diggers are as well. It sounded like a gun was loaded. 